McClung is the first Mac McClung. I honestly have to tell you, I've never heard of this guy. We were playing Settlers of Catan. <laughs> just me and some guys playing that game, and we had the slam dunk contest going on in the background. And he immediately got my attention by setting these guys up right here with the basketball hanging high. And uh, you can hear the commentators talk about this after. He actually tapped the backboard there. You can't see it from that angle, which is why I'm only going to include the different angles in this video. I'm cutting it down so you can just see uh, all the different angles in the scoring. Everything else, I'm taking out. But yeah, look at this vertical. Jesus Christ, his head is right, right by the rim. This guy, the guy he's dunking over is just ducking like, please don't hurt me, but you'd never be hurt by Mac McClung making a dunk. So deservedly so, he gets his 50s, and he's moving on to the next one. This one was apparently his worst dunk out of the four, but it's still freaking amazing. Like, he had so much extra time to put the ball in the basket based on how high he was jumping. So, we get to see the different angles here. It's just an impressive windmill right there. Very impressive. You get the full extension. Very nice from Mac McClung. I have to be honest, never heard of this guy before. Apparently he's in the G League. We got Shaq reacting to this. He knows what it means. He's like, this guy's good. <laughs> So uh, then we get the score, and of course, um, she gives a 49, and everybody's like, why'd you get that 49? Come on. <laughs> but he's going to pull it out for the next one. And this, God, this was the most impressive one. Double clutch. He brings it down twice. And they'll show you. He's just grabbing that. Up, down, up, down, boom. And while we were watching this, we were playing again, Sellers of Catan. None of us were paying attention to the game at this point. We were all like, who is this guy who has this kind of ability, this athletic ability to get his head that high, close to the rim, and double clutch and pull it through? Just such grace. And of course, he gets the 50s. And then we get the last dunk coming up here. He puts on his high school jersey. He's like, he's serious. He's ready to go. Right? Pumping everybody up. Let's go. He has some dribble moves going on. Everybody's watching him. And he just puts it in like that. Oh, damn. These guys, they're just like, it's over. Everybody knows. Right when he put it in. It's over. <laughs> you can see it from every angle. Just, man, the finesse. They called it a 540. They said it didn't quite get 720. <laughs> he got one 360 around and then a little bit like halfway and boom, throws it in. And uh, I have to say, I like his style at the end where he just spreads out his arms and he's like, bro, it's mine. And that, this game is mine. And uh, I love this where he's crowning him as the king of the slam dunk contest because that's really it. Like, everybody's saying he saved the slam dunk contest. It really feels like that. I mean, I used to watch it for fun and I'd be like, okay, th this is pretty cool. You know, three point contest, slam dunk contest. It's fun to watch, right? This guy is bringing back a specific art, like something that we haven't really seen in a very long time where, you know, every single dunk is just a masterpiece. <laughs> the second dunk, okay, maybe not as good as the others. It was just a windmill, right? But like, even his worst dunk was amazing, right? <laughs> so, uh, and you can see that guy saying, it's over, it's over. We're giving him this point.